I'm Kevin and this is my YouTube channel. Uh, normally I don't do a lot of this talking to the camera stuff and uh, talking in general. It's usually just those speech bubbles and me making poor decisions and having adventures. But, oh yeah, uh, like and subscribe if uh, you like this stuff. Um, today I had a few things I'm going to switch over to a voiceover here because there's a reason I don't do much of this talking stuff. I'm awful at it, and most of what I recorded is just wind noise and babbling as I forget my script, and mostly just fumble my way through what I wanted to say. I'm doing this because I've got a few things I'd like to say to the people at ARB. They're the amazing Australians that keep making gear that we all really want to buy. You can see here that I'm a bit of a fan. I've got the front and rear differential covers, and let me tell you, the dipstick fill hole things are worth every penny. Next, I've got their twin air compressor under the passenger seat, and this thing's an absolute workhorse. After our adventure last Wednesday, we aired up three of the rigs with it, and it never skipped a beat. I've even got some of their recovery gear, because it's all top-notch stuff. And a hat! The reason I'm doing this, though, is to talk about the IPF 901 XSD driving lights, which, you might notice, are missing. This is what it's supposed to look like, which is awesome. But here we are. I've had them a couple of years, but I live in a city, so I can count on both hands the number of times I've enjoyed how great they work. And now they're gone. You see, ARB advertises these lights as being waterproof to something like 11 feet. It was one of the reasons I bought them, and I've definitely fully submerged them at least once. Probably a few times, and they've taken it just fine. Until last week. Last week, I dipped them into what can best be described as a big puddle, and they practically exploded on me. Like, bits flying, some never to be seen again. You can see here what's left of them. So here you can see I've got, uh, I got one light that's in pretty good shape. I think I can still use this one. Uh, the other one, not so much. This one is uh, kind of a bit of a hash with, you know, the lens missing and the insides kind of dangling around. And I'm sure there's some bits of glass in there. And check out the dent. Look at that. That's something, eh? You can see both my covers are smashed, so these will be useless. There's nothing, you know, not much left on this guy that I can use. Um, this one, maybe I can tape it up. Or, well, he's pretty screwed, too. Um, so there you have it. Let's take a look over at the front. So if you look here, you can see pretty much exactly what happened here. This guy got smashed right back into the bar here. It held everything. Now, obviously the water was a bit hard, but I can't really control that, can I? An interesting thing came of this, though. The steel bodies really held up like a champ. I didn't buy them as armor, but you can see the rest of the damage on the bumper here. This was some serious ice that came up and punched my Jeep in the mouth. I can't help but think that without the lights on there, a chunk of it would have punched through my grill and radiator. These things pretty much saved me from disaster. So there you have it. Like I said, if I could get like some sort of a repair kit or something, just tell me what part numbers to order and we'll get this stuff back together. But uh, that was that. I guess uh, there are only so much water that these things can take before they've had enough. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, you know, like and subscribe, do all the, the regular stuff, and I hope you'll come on our next adventure with us. Till next time. Later. Thank you.